In today's video I will show you how to make another top 5 text animations in Premiere Pro. Since the last video was a huge success, so thank you so much for your support and let's go into this video. Pop effect. So let's create a text layer, align it to the center. Now we are going to duplicate this text layer three times because we have three letters. Let's hide this for now and let's delete P O. Enable this. Now let's delete P and now let's delete this. Okay. So now we have each letter. Let's adjust it as it was before. And now we are going to start animating P. So let's hide this. Go to the motion, click on anchor point and put this point on the bottom of your letter. Make a keyframe and scale it down to 0%. Move a couple of frames and reset it to the original size. Let's move these keyframes. Right click ease in, right click ease out. So it's 25 frames. Let's add some rotation. So for example, minus 20, move forward and reset it. Again, we are going to smooth it out. Nice, now we have this animation. Now let's click on this keyframe and move it slightly above. And now it has small bounce. Click on motion and copy, go to the O and make sure you're on the start of the timeline and paste it. Same with P paste it. We have to adjust anchor points so click on anchor point and move it to the bottom of your letter and same with P adjust the anchor points. Now let's move a couple of frames forward and place the second letter here. Again move a couple of frames forward and the third layer here and that's it. Now let's create this outline shift animation. So I made this text layer and I'm going to duplicate it. Let's move it down. For me it would be 960. Unchecked fill and check stroke. Now change stroke color to color of your text and adjust the stroke to your liking. For me two is nice. Now let's change opacity to 70%. Let's animate position. So move a couple of frames forward, make a keyframe. Let's go back to the first frame and reset it. Highlight both keyframes, right click, ease in and ease out. Let's move these keyframes, so shrink them together. Move a couple frames forward, make a keyframe and let's go back and reset it again. So now we've created this. We have to smooth this also, so shrink them together again like this. Don't forget to change this to inner. Now let's duplicate this layer again, but we are going to change this keyframe and move it up 480 and this one also 480. Now let's create adjustment layer and put it right on top of the layers. Put a transform effect on the adjustment layer, increase shutter angle to maximum and we are going to keyframe scale. So go to the start of the animation, make a keyframe for scale, go to the end of the animation and scale it up, move a couple of frames forward and again make a keyframe. Now let's move forward to the end of the animation and go back to the original size. And again we are going to smooth these keyframes. So now we have this, let's make another adjustment layer and I'm going to apply glow effect and I'm going to apply my preset. If you want to know how I've created this preset, look at this video that is on the screen. I'm going to apply it onto the adjustment layer and that's it. Text reveal. So I've prepared this text and color mat as a background. Now I will drop another color mat on the text layer, same color as the text. Unchecked uniform scale and scale it down like this. Now let's animate it. Go to the start of the timeline and make a keyframe to position and move it to the left. Move a couple of frames and make another keyframe but move it to the right. Highlight both keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in, ease out. Now drop this arrow down and move this together. Now we have this smooth animation. Let's move a couple of frames, make another keyframe move a couple of frames forward and make another keyframe and move it to the left. Highlight it, right click, temporal interpolation is in and move it together like this. Now go to the text layer, highlight it and make a mask. 
mask feather set to zero. Now keyframe mask path. Now let's cut it here, make a small gap and cut it here again, make a small gap and let's delete those. And there you have it. Now we are going to create this fast bouncy effect. So I've prepared color matte background and three text layers at same size and same alignment. Let's drop adjustment layer on top of the text like this and search for transform effect and drop it onto the adjustment layer. First we are going to animate scale, so hit the stopwatch icon at scale and increase it to the higher number, for me it would be 900. Now hold down shift and click on the right arrow twice. Make a keyframe and reset it to the original size. Highlight both keyframes, right click, ease in, again and ease out, drop this arrow, move the right keyframe all the way to the left and now increase shutter angle to the highest number which is 360. Now hold alt on your keyboard or command to duplicate this adjustment layer and put it on top of each text layer. Let's move this one layer up and this two layers up, one frame to the left and this also. Now hit enter on your keyboard to render this animation. Now we are going to create this gradient effect. So I've prepared color matte background and one text layer. Let's move the text layer one layer above and we are going to put black video under the text layer. Now let's search for four gradient and put the effect onto the black video. Now let's adjust the colors of the gradient and keyframe it. Move a couple of frames, adjust the colors again. Move a couple of frames, make keyframes. Now let's move again and change the colors one more time. Now let's search for track matte key and put it onto the black video. And change the matte to video 3, which is the text layer. And that's it. And that's it for today's video. If you learned something new, please make sure to subscribe. It's completely free and you will support my channel. Thank you so much for your support and see you in the next one.